everyone it's a bit of a different start to usual um i thought i would do a date in my life video a lot of you have requested this so yeah i'm gonna show you guys my usual day in my life excuse the frizzy hair i have literally just woken up so i usually wake up about 7 a.m and i just kind of get ready and go to the yard and usually i do all my jobs then i'll go home and then head back later on to ride and finish up Chohi is on um, DIY, so I do everything myself. Um, I usually go to the yard twice a day, which I love. I really enjoy doing it myself, and I'm very fortunate to be able to like do it all myself as well. I'm gonna take you guys with me today on my daily chores. Show you kind of a really realistic life on a DIY yard. I think um, Abby wants me to help her with Willow this morning. And then I think I'm helping Ash with rain later on. So there'll be a few interesting things for you guys to see. Um, but honestly, <laughs> I don't know how exciting this vlog will be. I hope you guys enjoy it though. So yeah, 7am, uh, like I said, I'm just going to get up now, get ready. And then we'll head to the yard and get everything done. <laughs> So I'm just in my car about to head to the yard. Every day when I'm driving to the yard in the car, um, I usually take that time to like manifest and stuff. So I usually just sit and think like, I thank, I'm not really a religious person, um, but I guess I'm more spiritual. So I usually just really like thank the universe and stuff. Like every day I get in my car, I'm so grateful that like I have a car, I have a horse. I can drive my car to my horse. I, I guess every morning I just give like, thanks to the universe um that i can do that so i don't take any of it for granted and i just like to i feel if you put that good energy out there it always comes back yeah i just kind of picture my life i give thanks for it and i manifest the things that i'd like to happen i'm thinking of doing like have i manifested my dream horse video Many people have asked for it because i do really believe in manifestation and positive affirmations and stuff so yeah if you'd be interested in that let me know if you're into manifesting and stuff it's like for example today is such a beautiful day and i just like stepped out the door and i was like wow like thank you for such a beautiful day like what what a life you know um, but that is why i like to give thanks because i don't take any of it for granted even the good weather it's like a positive way to start my day so i just got to the yard i'm just gonna feed chucky his breakfast before he starts kicking off so you've thrown your bowl out. How are you? You hungry? Go back. Go back. Horses are in their um, summer turnout now. So Chucky's been on one, haven't you? So I might have to put this phone down in a minute. Um, yeah, every day he goes out, he goes galloping off down to the big field. So he's nice and happy. Um, so yeah, I just, he's had his breakfast, put him out now, and then I can get on with my yard jobs. Oh, you're being patient today. Usually you don't want your treat, you just go. Hang on. Smile. Good boy. Good lad. Have a good day. Be good. Oh, here comes Ash and Ray. And off he goes. Oh, rain is coming through. Oh. 
Bye, Rain. <laughs> Oh, Chucky's in full Arab mode. He's like, what is that? Look, it came a very sensitive. <laughs> it's the flappy ears for me on his fly mask. Because they're too big for his ears. He always misses the gate. Oh, look at that lovely boy. I'm just wearing looks so confused. What is wrong with your horse? <laughs> your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> so, usually I start mucking out. Um, he is so messy. His stable is filthy. Um, so, yeah. I'm gonna muck him out now. Um, and do hay nets and stuff and then I've got all my jobs done and then when I come back down later I can just like ride and enjoy it. So Abby had asked me to just kind of be her eyes on the ground, um, see if I could see anything from a different perspective that might help them in their training. Now I don't think I even have to say this because it's obvious, um, but I'm not an instructor, I'm not qualified. Um, I'm just helping Abby as a friend in my own personal experience and hoping I can provide some help to her and Willow. As you guys would have seen in previous videos, Willow is a very hot and spicy horse. <laughs> um, Abby manages her so well, I don't know how she does it. Um, but yeah, she's always on to the next thing, jogging and prancing around. So obviously the main thing I observed was just a lot of tension, which is kind of a vicious circle because they feed off it and give it to each other. Um, so I suggested Abby drop her stirrups um, and we just completely go back to basics. And you'll see immediately the difference in both of them um, of how effective that simple change was for the pair of them. And then now we kind of had a bit more of a relaxed attitude from Willow. Um, we focused on trying to get her to work laterally from leg pressure. So we worked on a small circle, pushing her inwards and outwards, um, getting her to really just use her body and respect Abby's aids a bit more. Because Willow's more than capable of doing all of this, um, but we're just kind of trying to break those bad habits. Um, so yeah, she really started to work nicely, Abby rode her really well. As you can see, Willow is actually starting to use her body properly, she's working a bit longer and a bit lower, engaging the correct muscles um, rather than going around quite hollow and tense. So we just kind of really focused on getting that walk really nice and relaxed, um, stopping the jogging and getting her understanding that leg pressure can mean yielding laterally, it doesn't just mean bombing off a hundred miles an hour 
Uh, but yeah, they did so good. I was so happy for them. Okay, so I did cheat a little bit here guys, um, me and Ash actually did this the day after I filmed this video, um, but this video, because I didn't ride, I felt like it was a bit boring, so I've added this into um, this day in the life. We did it, Rain Stable, it's officially mounted. Good job Ash. Where are you? <laughs> So I've done all my morning jobs. I gave Abby, not a lesson, I gave Abby a helping hand with Willow. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go home, um, do some work, eat, do some jobs around the house, and then I'll be back down later to, I'm gonna help Ash with rain, um, and then I'm gonna ride Chucky as well. It is four o'clock. I just got back to the yard. Someone has been out in the field all day. Very tired, Chucky. Busy day in the field. I'm sleeping. So I'm gonna help um, Ash with rain. I'm gonna help us school him. And then if I've got time, I might lunch him, but I'm not sure. And he's very sleepy today, so <laughs> we'll see. See where the afternoon takes us. Chucky literally won't stop yawning, so I don't really know what to do with him. Are you sleepy? Had a wild day in that field. You could have a day off, really, couldn't you? But that's what, what the vlog wants to see. So again, Ash just asked me to be her eyes on the ground while she gave Rain a little schooling session. Um, so Rain's thing is when he trots, he thinks we're immediately galloping. Um, and you have to have quite a loose, soft rein on him. If you hold his head, then he's off. Um, so after having a little trot, um, we did a bit of leg yielding, making sure he's responding to her leg aids and moving away. Um, gaining some control over the shoulders and stuff and making sure he is working throughout his body and again reinforcing the idea that the pressure doesn't mean faster it just means move away so when we bring him onto the circle she can use that inside leg to try help create the bend and work properly. I'm a really strong believer in the German scales of training um, so rhythm, suppleness, contact, impulsion, straightness and collection. So if we focus on range trot and we develop that nice steady rhythm, in turn that will lead on to more suppleness and him working longer and low, engaging those correct back muscles and using his body properly. Uh, and then in turn a correct um, and proper outline will come. So 
It all takes time, but if it's done properly from the start, it works out best. Um, but Ash is doing amazing with him, and you can see the moments when it really clicks for them too. Yeah, I'm just going to make his dinners now. Now they're on their summer grass, I have like reduced his feed a little bit. Only a little bit because um, we were struggling with his weight. I don't want him to drop again, um, but obviously I don't want him getting overweight either. So I'm still feeding the cool stance. I love it. It's so good. My phone died as I was um, finishing my jobs. Um, but yeah, I hope that was kind of a bit of an insight into my everyday life, um, especially on a DIY yard. Um, most of your time is taken up with jobs, <laughs> which I don't mind. I love just doing anything to do with Chalky. But like today, I just didn't have time to ride after I'd done all my jobs. I still have work to do this evening. So I just juggling things about. Um, when your horse is on DIY it can be quite difficult. I feel quite fortunate to be able to do DIY that I have the time to do it. Um, so I really enjoy it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, it really helps me. And if you leave a like or a comment on this video, I'd really appreciate it. See you in the next vlog.